Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Please submit any requests or comments to Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a website that allows you to create really cool looking content or MySpace pages where you can even create entire websites with this. It doesn't require anything to download. All you have to do is go to wix.com and sign up for a free account. And on the main page, it shows you all the different categories that you can create stuff for, such as business or art or personal use. If you got music, you can create stuff for your music, or you can create stuff for your MySpace page. I'm just going to select art as an example, and it shows you you can create websites or MySpace layouts or widgets for all your different art projects. Uh, this is the website category. I'm just going to select a template and click edit just to show you what it's like. And then this is where you would have to log in. And then it will take you to the website layout. And you can select anything that's on there and you can unlock it if it's locked and move it around or resize it or twist it or animate it. You can do almost anything with it. And then once you got it where you want it, you can lock it. Then from the menu to the left, you can add various other items like animations or multimedia. This is the animations option. I'm just going to select Crazy Ant. And then I can either lock it in place or delete it. You can also add titles or paragraphs. I'm going to select a title and just drag it to the page. And then double click on it to change the text. And then you can also add pictures or videos or music different things like that. This is an example of pictures. You can upload them or add a URL to a specific picture. Or you can even choose to search the Flickr website for different pictures. Um, just did a search for art on Flickr and I'll just drag a couple of uh, pictures from Flickr onto the web page. Then as I said before you can also animate these things so uh, you can just choose the animate uh, option at the bottom and you can have it zoom in or dissolve in or uh, uh, flip in anything like that I'm just going to choose hoop dissolve and then I can lock it in place and I'll just go ahead and lock both of these and that'll ensure that I don't accidentally move it then you can click add a page from the upper right to add a new page and then just uh, select from the different backgrounds that they have selected a brick background then you can also choose to add center uh, parts to the center or other backgrounds or frames. Um, another good option to have is if you want a link to text just choose the behavior button at the bottom you can choose to go to a specific page or link to a different URL. So that's how you can link different pages together. Then you can click preview at the top to preview the web page and see how it links. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. For more go to Tinkernut.com.